Okay, we have been recorded. Uh, so, hi everyone, today is uh, March 4th. So, we have a regular global uh, summer of court office hours, and yeah, my introduction was almost uh, the same as before. So, quite regular. Um, and yeah, today we will discuss a few topics, um, but mostly we run uh, the common agenda. So we will discuss what's happening around GSOC, uh, discuss uh, open action items, uh, project idea status, and then have questions and answers. Today, we don't uh, have all ORC admins on the call, uh, so Mark cannot join. I believe that Car uh, um, cannot join as well because she attends uh, one of uh, Google community events. And uh, Mark, I guess, is busy as well. So um, uh, we just have me on the call, and we also have several mentors and students. Okay, let's press it with news. Uh, so, not everybody is involved in uh, the discussion, but uh, is my screen visible? Okay, uh, so um, uh, last uh, week we had a discussion about the Jenkins and Continuous Delivery Foundation because uh, there were two organizations uh, which reference Jenkins' project. Uh, so we are going to have a meeting tomorrow uh, with uh, CDF um, uh, to discuss it and uh, to address the problem. So it will yeah. happen during uh, the standard uh, uh, slots. So we believe it's 5 p.m. UTC. Yeah. Okay. There is an effort from someone. Oh, oh, I see. I, I saw that it's normal, but... Okay. I will just unmute you. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, if you want to participate, uh, there is um, advocacy and outreach uh, page, um, and uh, here there is a link to meetings. So yeah, but it's mostly for ORC admins, but uh, interested mentors are also welcome to participate, especially if you're interested in interoperability in other projects, because uh, there will be projects for other CDF members like Tipton, Spinnaker, maybe Screwdriver, maybe uh, there will be some interoperability projects including uh, Jenkins, let's see. But, yeah, the meeting is open. Another thing which was mentioning that we started doing on-demand projects in CUPS. So last week we had at least three sync CUPS, one for um, um, custom uh, Jenkins build service project ID, another one for electronic design automation. There was also sync up for machine learning. And if you, as a student, uh, need to um, get uh, more information, uh, please ask your mentors uh, to schedule such a sync up. As we discussed last time, uh, it's on demand, so we do not uh, schedule them uh, um, uh, by default. Uh, but if it helps, uh, we can do that. Okay, let's go next. New mentor introduction. Do we have any new mentors on the call? I guess not. Mike, did you introduce yourself last time? Um, maybe. Uh, I missed last week's meeting, so maybe not. Okay, so maybe not. Uh, so if you could introduce yourself briefly, it would be appreciated. Um, my name is Mike Serioli. I work at CloudBees. Um, this is be the first time I've participated in Google Summer Code, doing software development, development and design for most of my life. And um, I'm looking forward to, I enjoy mentoring people. And so I'm really looking forward to participating and mentoring. I tried to do it last year and I just didn't have the time. So this year I've made it a priority. Mm -hmm. You can find me on GitHub at Mike Serioli um, and get her the same, same ID. Thank you. And yeah, Mike uh, contributes uh, a lot to Jenkins projects now. For example, uh, manage permissions, uh, Jeff, which uh, was merged uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so if uh, there are any projects related to Jenkins core and security, Mike uh, could provide uh, a lot of expertise there. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, open action items. So last week we had a discussion about how we could promote uh, Google Summer of Code. And again, like we discussed last time, there is section item for everyone, promote Google Summer of Code. 
So whether it's Jenkins Google's summer of code or just Google's summer of code in general, please do that because we need to gain visibility. And the, again, we do, uh, also depend on mentors because as org admin team, we have limited capacity. We also uh, already have some parallel uh, um, discussions like uh, funding, payments, uh, there were also some uh, cases uh, we handle uh, in the background which are, are not visible uh, by the team, for the team. So any promotion you could do would be much appreciated. Um, on uh, the set of specific topics we discussed, I have an action item to publish a blog post. Uh, it's a bit overdue, but I hope to get it uh, to it. And uh, there is also um, a jam on Jenkins IO, which I would like to publish. So since we have uh, Mark wait on the call today, Mark, what uh, do you think about uh, putting Jumbotron there? So similar to other topics we have. I like that a lot. I think we should, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, so the uh, Jumbotron would mostly target uh, students and mentors. Uh, now it's uh, March 4th, so we don't actively seek project ideas right now. Uh, we would still accept project ideas uh, if uh, they're prepared and submitted, but we mostly seek uh, students and mentors uh, if possible. So are you envisioning, Oleg, that we would do two pages on the Jumbotron, one for mentors and one for students? I think or would, would it be a single page? Yeah, it would be a single page. Okay. Well, it's an overkill. And yeah, I'll finally kill that one because yeah, I added a temporary image uh, and well, nothing more permanent is temporary. So it's time to remove it. And yeah, speaking of that, if you have something to put on the Jumbotron, uh, please do so because yeah, right now it's a bit obsolete. So, okay. And regarding the rest mailing list, uh, we did announcement uh, in all mailing lists. We've got some follow-ups, uh, but again, uh, raised visibility is rather the subject for project meetings, etc. So again, if you participate in regular Jenkins meetings, please do that. And then, then yeah, this, that's all. Mm -hmm. So there are also things like going to new universities, local JSOC communities, if you have ones, but uh, yeah, it depends on your capacity and on your interest. Yeah, one topic about that is about online meetup. So would you like to do one, for example, uh, in a week? Mark, you're muted. I have, I have, I have a I have a pr proposed meetup for next Wednesday to talk to the developer team, to developers about spot, uh, spot bugs and find sec bugs. Mm -hmm. um, would be happy to host an additional GSOC meetup. Just would like to avoid colliding with that one. It hasn't been published officially yet, but I'd like to get it published today after the review is done. Okay, uh, that's fine. So yeah, let's coordinate on the time, but we can do it on Thursday or Friday next week then. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, basically it's same call of that, maybe use some slide decks. Let's see. Okay. There is a lot of minor things. Yeah, but yeah, let's just go to project ideas. So our project ideas, uh, they're basically in the same status as before. Um, we still have a bunch of projects in the draft state. I have an action item to move some of them. Uh, for example, automatic specification generator uh, and pipeline stable implementation generator. I started writing quick start guidelines. Uh, this is a topic which blocks them, but I haven't finished that. So I will try to do it uh, tomorrow. Uh, code coverage API and uh, Jenkins remoting um, yet to be seen. But yeah, I'll hope to, I hope to get it over the line. And the last one is pipe, uh, Jenkins pipeline is YAML. My understanding of the current developer mailing list is that it's going to stay in the draft. Uh, so there is a contributor, Aytun, uh, who actually works on the project, so we need to do some alignment there. So it's definitely not going uh, to the accepted state uh, right now, but uh, it shouldn't block anyone who is interested in this area uh, from applying and uh, from reviewing that because, yeah, there is a quite active developer mailing list 
Somebody. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, that's it with project ideas, mm, and I think we can just uh, move to questions and answers. And if there is, uh, there are not so many questions, we can just uh, close the meeting earlier. Okay. Any questions? Yeah, with respect to the GitHub checks API, I guess um, I guess I uh, I wanted some sort of uh, could we have some sort of a project mentor sync up? I guess that would that would be cool for the GitHub checks API. I guess I I put it in the developer mailing list, and I guess one more student was interested. I mean, he was contributing the GitHub API. So yeah, if we could have a sync up for that, that would be amazing. Okay, so since I'm a potential mentor, I will just take the section item. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Done. So I guess I guess I have a a question to launch that is not so much a question. Uh, I'm going to be gone for the next four days on business travel. Uh, if there are questions related to Git plugin project ideas, I would welcome feedback from others or help from others while I'm traveling. It's this is not me asking for asking a question per se. Just noting that. I'm I'm unavailable somewhat for the next four or five days for business travel. Yeah, that's perfectly fine, and uh, we hope you will be able to promote yourself for your, your travel. Uh, hey, Oleg, I'm having a question. Uh, the question is about the automation specification generator, uh, the beyond. So. It is like well, it is a draft up, right? Uh, will it be moved to confirm to audits? Excuse me, uh, I have difficulties understanding. Uh, could you please write your question so that? Uh, it is like it is a draft up, right? It is a draft, right? Draft audit ideas. Hello. Nandishwar, your audio quality is quite poor. Oleg had suggested you should type your question so that we can all hear it. Yes, yes, so I will. I'll read it. I will type the question. <clears throat> uh, just in uh, the chat. So we are in Zoom and uh, there is a chat where you can uh, um, write your question and we will be able to answer that. Okay. We'll mark your travel until then, right? So I'll, um, I travel, I fly home late Sunday night and I'll be then offline, uh, uh, probably available Monday and Tuesday of next week. So yeah. I'll be traveling through, I'll be available again the ninth. Yes. Okay. So let's see what was the question. So the question from Nandishwar is about automation specification generator uh, is in draft, right? Will the project continue? I'm presently working on that. Oh, like I can't hear. Can... <clears throat> so your question is whether automa automatic specification generator project is going to continue. So the answer yes, yes, yes. is a yes. It will continue. So the only reason why it's in the draft state it's because I haven't finished uh, the quick start guide on this yet. Okay. Uh, so um, it's a minor thing, uh, but uh, the overall description is good. And uh, yeah, since we discussed it a lot in the GitHub chats, I believe that you have enough information for quick start. Okay, but uh, okay, so, okay, Oleg, I'm right now working on that. I'm having those small doubts on that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, the doubts are like. Uh, <clears throat> So I have gone through the uh, some of the uh, uh, APIs provided in the links in the docs chat. 
so i have found uh, the how to go through the links and how to how to go through the code and how to get the annotations in java there is an option in reflection that uh, getting an annotated class of specific type like if we give post type or get type we will get annotated class exactly mm -hmm. or the method specifically so i can parse it is this the correct way to do that uh well in uh, jenkins we usually use uh, another library called syspos so jc is one of active jenkins contributors uh, yeah there is um, annotation processor which we widely use inside of the jenkins core so if you need to process annotations if you want to fetch them uh, it would be the best uh, project to look at it's embedded into the Jenkins core, so it's available uh, to all plugins out of the box. So what this will plug in, but what this will exactly do means it will fetch the uh, API calls. Uh, no, it won't. It uh, can fetch annotations, etc. Uh, okay, okay. Means everything is automated already, right? Kind of. Uh, yeah, for for annotations, yes. Uh, okay, uh, means I have got some uh, reflection a uh, reflection of java so in that i got a method like get the annotated type call from which we can specify post dot class well uh, you can try that uh, the problem is uh, the approach is that uh, if you use uh, raw java reflection api you won't get caching and other things uh, so okay, okay. uh improves performance significantly for such common okay. operations because it was designed for jenkins use cases uh, so my recommendation is to use uh, that or at least oh, to fine. consider using that. Yes, yes. Huh? I don't know about this, right? So I'm asking. So I will continue on this and I will read this code and I will understand. And uh, one more thing is like about uh, the proposal thing. Should we plan the sessions of the eight weeks or will you plan, will you plan for the work for this work? Well, we could definitely organize one. Uh, so. I'm not sure, Kristin, uh, would uh, you have some availability later this week or maybe next week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. So. Mm -hmm. so maybe, Kristin, if you could uh, send a, a, do, uh, either a developer mailing list uh, discussion about this project. Okay, I can do that. Okay. So yeah, if uh, you could uh, start the discussion. Uh, sure. To, uh, yeah, I will uh, do my best to attend. Okay. Okay. So, that would be yeah. Are there I have a question for the mentors. Yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, if I want to show prototype code uh, in a proposal, what would be the best way? W would it be through a PR, pull request, or uh, screenshots for that code? No, pull request is better. Okay. So, yeah, you operate in the Jenkins community. If you want to show a prototype, you can do that. Uh, in um, GitHub, there is a feature, draft pull request. So if you want uh, to submit a, a proof of concept or whatever, which you didn't consider ready for review, you can submit it as a draft pull request. I'm not sure okay. what I'm doing, but uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Now I'm even less sure what I'm doing, but uh, there will be definitely a uh, draft pull request button. Draft pull request option. Okay, yeah. I'll try that. So okay. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, if you write code, don't spend time uh, on uh, converting it to other format. Uh, it's fine. Uh, applications are for us, uh, and we can uh, review the link. Okay. So I would rather close it. For now. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so, so proposals. Uh, okay. Any other questions? If not, uh, I have a question to you. 
so in, I raised the question in Gitter chat about uh, having uh, office hours uh, in uh, Asian and Pacific region. So something like uh, eight or nine a.m. UTC. Uh, my question to participants is whether you would find it useful and whether you would be interested to attend these sessions. Because, yeah, sometimes it's more convenient for people to attend on the evening after uh, the study. But if you want to have something uh, earlier during the day, I'm ready to do that. Uh, but uh, um, I need to know that uh, there will be people participating. Would anyone be interested? Probably not. Probably not me. Mm -hmm. okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, I think for me it's, but it's irrelevant. Uh, I'm in, mostly in Europe or in Moscow. So maybe other guys. Okay. So, yeah, just for your information, I keep this option open. I will probably send it to the JSOC mailing list. Uh, but yeah, we will organize these meetings only if there is somebody interested. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can participate, but I don't think I have any questions specific for that, yeah. bring to that zone. So. Yeah, we can use this time to discuss uh, project ideas and uh, project uh, application drafts. Uh, so, if it yeah, helps, that, that uh, good. yeah, yeah, I can participate as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, let's follow up in the mailing list. If there are more people who are interested. We uh, will do it. I guess uh, there will be not so many mentors on that call, uh, but uh, yeah. We can still discuss project ideas that we know about. Okay, anything else for today? Yes, hello Oleg and everybody. Uh, I have a small question. Um, I just noticed uh, that uh, there is a student who can take ownership of the YAML project. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, from the previous year, I slightly take a, a side uh, project on this topic. So the question is, will it be possible to uh, like make uh, something collaborative or so it will be not fully aligned with uh, the project ideas. Maybe it will be the new topic which I will propose with further investigation, of course. What do you think about this? Yeah, uh, so project ideas are just project ideas. Potentially, we can have uh, two projects, uh, three projects, or more projects for project idea. Um, it really depends on uh, what is the content. So, uh, in Google Summer of Code, we expect each student uh, to work on a more or less independent project. What it means is that um, each project can be evaluated uh, separately and can be delivered separately. So if you collaborate with another student, it's fine. Uh, and uh, we encourage that because uh, that's how open source work uh, works. But uh, at the same time, uh, you need to ensure that uh, project ideas are independent enough. And uh, since uh, you know about other students applying, the best way is to just uh, sync up and to discuss potential uh, areas so that uh, you keep your projects separate. Um, and yeah, it's a fine approach, and uh, this is one of the reasons why we recommend uh, for project uh, discussions to happen uh, in parallel, because we had such cases before. Wow, thank you, thank you, Oleg. It's a good idea. We will discuss uh, this mm -hmm. issue with that student. I will contact them as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm, thank you too for bringing it up. Uh, uh, 
Okay. Okay, so I just made some notes. Okay, anything else for today? No. So you've got uh, something like 15 minutes of your life back from this meeting. Thanks everyone. And uh, looking forward to meet you next week or maybe at one of these uh, project discussions. And again, if you want to discuss your projects specifically, please uh, raise a question uh, because yeah, that's how it works. Uh, please ask your mentors and don't hesitate to ask uh, in the chats if you discover any obstacles or have any ideas, uh, it's perfectly fine. Okay. Fine. Thanks, everyone. Thanks all. Bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.